you be careful out here. Be careful out here. Be careful out here. It's dangerous. It is dangerous. I didn't know that it was this dangerous, but I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm so glad uh, that God, that God gave me certain utensils to be able to survive, and He gave you certain utensils to to survive. One of the main things God gave me is patience. Patience, patience, patience. Uh, it takes a lot for me to get excited and overwhelmed and caught up. Let me just say this. I was once with a guy that I thought was of godly values. We used to go fishing. And I told him about the time I went fishing had one hung and you know and, and I was reveling in and I was feeling all giddy and all excited and it broke my line. The fish broke my line and my day went to hell. I mean I felt so bad. Well, he's to say he's an older guy, what he told me, he said that he don't become okay with the fish that he got on the line until until he didn't got the fish off the hook in the basket cleaned and cooked well what that tell me and, and what that told me and what I was used to this day don't get excited or get overwhelmed about nothing until it becomes official somebody say they about to hire you don't get excited about that until you are actually hired. I mean, you got the uniform. You doing temporary, through a, working through a temporary. And they saying they gonna keep you. Don't go around telling nobody they about to, that, that they're about to keep you. Don't mention it until you are kept. And furthermore, to go in, into this today, I'm just here to tell you all, don't mention anything about a relationship talk about a relationship or talk about commitment and all that type of stuff until the person is actually committed and by all means it's gonna hurt a whole lot of people's feelings but hey hey if you've been with somebody and that person don't have not decided to marry you or have not thought of you worth marrying then you are something that is not meant to be kept